In this week's video, we have some really odd problems going on. Air supply system malfunction, engine malfunction, and just to make things even more interesting, vehicle controller malfunction. This light comes on and goes off at random times, which seems to cause the vehicle lights to come on and go off. This is a safety feature, but more on that later. With Davy plugged in, we can identify the fault codes in more detail. With CAN timeouts from both the front and rear chassis modules, and from the air supply system, this is looking like a nightmare job. The customer has attempted to rectify this fault by taking advice from a third party plugin and purchasing a Norbrems air processing unit from a factor, but he's only made things worse apparently, so deciding to bite the bullet and get it fixed right first time, he's brought it into us to be fixed. I decided to start at the point of last replacement and check what sort of comms we have here. With our DAF test leads plugged into the system, we can intercept the data and check if it's correct. With our power and ground identified, and being within manufacturer's specification, I dug out my favourite tool and slapped the scope on the can lines going in and out of the air processing unit to do a visual check on the signal. I never set the rulers to measure the voltages on the waveforms like you can do on PicoScope but it gives me a good representation of the waveform and if I had an issue with the CAM messages they certainly wouldn't look so clear and uniform would they? Now a bit of information about this CCU on the air dryer. It has CAM wiring coming in from the front chassis module and out to the rear chassis module. It's literally sat in the middle of the CAM network. I'll put more information about the air processing unit aka the smart air controller, the front chassis module and the rear chassis module on my blog which will be about FCAM or frame cam this week. Anyway, back to it. With this CAN signal also looking good, I turned off the ignition and checked the resistance of FCAN as it should be 60 ohms, which is when I found 40 ohms here. I scratched my head and conceded to check what DAF would do. With DAF's checking data suggesting I start at the bulkhead, I opened up the bulkhead cover, worked out my plug location, got the harness out and worked out my wire position in the plug. With 60 ohms at the chassis and 120 ohms in the cab, things were still not making sense. The cab was right, but the chassis was wrong. It had too much resistance. The guided diagnostic suggests I have shorted CAN wiring and should trace and repair the chassis harness. And just to check again, I had 40 ohms on this CAN network, not 120 ohms. It's all rather odd, but we're methodically working through this. This situation might not make much sense to some, so it's time for a fancy slideshow. In this system, we have VECU, which has now replaced VIC. This handles and processes a lot of the functions on the vehicle. This passes requests on to ECUs and on the network it passes such messages onto chassis modules front and chassis modules rear. In the middle we have this sucker, the SAC. The CAM messages come in and out through this unit and this makes up our FCAN or frame CAN. Oh look at the communication going on, fancy. Now to stop these messages going round forever and ever we have resistors at the end of the network, each at a value of 120 ohms. With two fitted, you have half the resistance, hence the 60 ohms. Hope that makes sense. Now back to it. For us to have 40 ohms, something somewhere is very wrong. So I disconnected the air dryer and checked the can again without the air dryer fitted. I have 120 ohms at the back of the truck and 120 ohms from the front of the truck down to here. Well, that's right. As plugged in, I'd get 60 ohms. There isn't anything wrong with the wiring, but again, when plugged in, the FCAN is showing 40 ohms, not 60 ohms. I'm onto something now. With the truck wiring disconnected and this test lead just plugged into the air dryer, I test again. 120 fucking ohms. This air dryer unit has a resistor in it. DAF Euro 6 models have a much more simplistic CAN network and on FCAN the air processing unit is the end component and as such has an end resistor fitted in the APU. 
Trucks manufactured after Euro 6, aka model year 17 onwards, don't. The customer has been supplied an old air processing unit causing an incorrect resistance in the CAN network, screwing all the communication up. Only thing I can think of is his original APU had failed and having the correct DAF1 fitted would have rectified the situation, but taking this job on himself to save some money, he's opened up a massive can of worms in the end. But with the fault quickly identified, he could argue with the supplier, I mean return the part and fit the correct one. We supplied a genuine one off the shelf which we then programmed for him, getting him back on the road. As usual, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please drop a like, drop any comments for shit I've just waffled on about and I'll see you in the next one.